Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Garage. Today's video, well, it's going to be kind of an update on the Slither project behind me. In the last video, I brought it up that the owner of the car, Charles, had passed away. And unfortunately, he won't be able to see the car the way he envisioned it. I know that he had several things in mind, several upgrades and improvements that he wanted to do to the car and it's just not gonna happen. So I went down this past week and went to his funeral down in basically in Florida and I was able to meet his family and his wife. We, we've already met before but we we had some good talks about what the plans are for the car and she was a little surprised because the car that apparently they had agreed to build or rebuild was more along the lines of a stock 428 Cobra Jet. And I think Charles had a different vision and she was kind of surprised to hear his vision was a lot more, let's say, race car oriented. So at this point, plugs are being pulled. You know, he's not in charge anymore. Uh, I'm not in charge of this car. I am assisting in the build of this car. So now his wife is calling the shots and we're going to communicate and work together on the plans moving forward. Uh, at this point, the vision for the car is to go back to more of a stock 428 Cobra Jet car. Now, if we go back with the original color, or she does, I don't know for sure. Uh, I will point out that some of the upgrades that Charles had in mind was, of course, the modified rear suspension. So he had somebody, uh, I guess, fabricating something for that and we modified the car to accept wider tires. We put in the Detroit Speed Mini Tubs and that is gonna stay. There's no, there's no undoing that, let's say, without really complicating things. Uh, so that is gonna stay. Up front here, we did salvage the original shock towers and aprons and we are still planning on using the aftermarket aprons and the core support. I did weld in the uh, reinforcement plates in the shock towers, and that's not a bad thing. That's, that's, can't undo that, really. So that's going to stay as well. And we need to come to some decisions as to how much further we want to go with the parts that Charles has already purchased. The reality is, if we're building the car back to a stock style 428, we don't need the, the high-end race car style suspension underneath the front of the car. If we're doing the same thing in the rear, we're not going to be putting in anything complicated. Uh, we can go back with the original rear differential, get new leaf springs, get new shackles, rebuild everything back there of the original pieces. Up front here, and I haven't talked to his wife about this directly, but I think the end result is we go back with original style suspension pieces um, there's West Coast Classic Cougars. I looked at them. They've got a great kit. They're painted exactly like they would have been from the you know original with the black and the silver separation. So we can look at doing that. Uh, this car did have disc brakes on it. We can go back with disc brakes. Um, Charles had bought some really nice, really really nice disc brake kit setup, uh, four wheel disc brake kit. So there's no, no real sense in going back with all of that. But we can replace the originals and put those, you know, put that back in place the way, the way it came. Now we have to figure out if this car was a four-speed car or an automatic and then decide if we want to try to pursue that. I think it was actually a four-speed car. And I think the original transmission is gone, so there may be some you know, effort that we had put into if we want to put it back as a four-speed. He also had purchased the, uh, I didn't unbox everything, but the E-Pass electric steering system and rack and pinion and all that sort of thing. So we may end up just selling that stuff at this point. Um, so we have, to, we have to figure that out, where we're going to go with it. It's not cheap stuff, and even if there's a, a slight loss in money on the on these parts uh, the replacement parts we can get for the front end is probably not even a tenth the cost so 
we have to be practical in thinking the, thinking about this stuff moving forward. Um, again, if you go to an original 428 Cobra Jet car and you add in a bunch of racy stuff, somebody that's looking for a 428 may not want all that racy stuff. Somebody who wants to build their own, you know, will buy those pieces and put them into their car. So we've got to kind of balance out where we're going with this. Uh, I will continue to move forward with the uh, structure, of course, getting all the sheet metal taken care of. Uh, another thing is the frame connectors. We, we haven't discussed that yet. And again, I don't know that there's any value in adding frame connectors to this car if it's not going to end up being some sort of a race car. Frame connectors are great. There's nothing wrong with those. Uh, it takes away from the originality of the car, but we're already kind of a little past that point with the, the uh, Detroit, Detroit Speed Mini Tubs. But, you know, these are some of the things we have to think about as we progress forward. Um, another one was the roll bar. You know, she doesn't feel like that we need to have a roll bar, and I'm, I'm okay with that. It doesn't hurt to have the roll bar, but it doesn't necessarily fall into the original plans for the Cobra Jet car. So, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to balance everything out and want to make her happy, uh, want to make it so that she's not having to uh, spend money unnecessarily, you know. And if the end result is someday she needs to sell this car, she can't be over-invested in it to get her potential money back or even break even. So this is just a practical look at what we're doing at this point. Um, but that's, that's, that's where I'm at. So decisions still to be made. Uh, I am actually not 100% healthy right now. I'm still kind of, sorry. <clears throat> I'm actually still not 100% healthy right now. I still have something in my chest, you know, a bit of a head thing going on. Uh, I, we did have a great Thanksgiving though, and I hope everybody else did as well. I appreciate everybody who has uh, commented on the previous video and you know uh, viewed that video and all that sort of thing. That was a tough video to make, uh, but I felt that it had to be made. Uh, I had to share that information. And so all the feedback is fantastic. Lots of people sharing their thoughts uh, for me and for Charles's family, condolences and all those sort of thing. So I appreciate all of you for, for doing that. So. Moving forward, I got to keep working on the car and get things done. And I don't know what ex where exactly I'm I'm going to be. As I said, I've got to get the quarter panels and all that sort of thing done. Um, to give you some perspective as well, I was not planning to paint this car, and I really wasn't planning to assemble this car. So these are also some things that we have to kind of weigh into the situation and where we're going forward. Uh, I will be heading back down to Charles's place, going through parts with his wife and some friends to find out what's there and what we can work with. I will also be picking up a rotisserie so that I can do the underside of this car, get all that taken care of. Uh, they sell them down in, uh, not too far from where he lived, so I will be getting one of those. But that'll come, you know, maybe the next month or so. But anyway, that's the update for today. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting me by watching these videos and being part of this process. I really do appreciate everyone. And until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya.